Greetings, fellow woodworkers and machinists. I learned recently that uh, I could install a digital readout at DRO on my Rockwell RC or Delta RC33 thickness planer. When I went to uh, program it, I discovered that the instructions that came with it, although not totally useless, do come close. I also looked online and found that a great many people have struggled trying to figure out what to do with the buttons on this thing, how to make it work. That much I've figured out, so this video is going to show any of you who are interested how to use those buttons to uh, get this thing properly set uh, and use the different functions that are available. Here is my Rockwell RC33 thickness planer with the eye gauging easy view Pro DRO installed. It was a pretty simple installation. I drilled and tapped uh, number 8 by 32 threads per inch hole in the casting here to mount the uh, sliding part of the unit. And on the bottom I measured and cut a block of uh, wood which is then uh, glued in place with aircraft grade epoxy and then a single screw on the bottom there holds the uh, the bottom of the DRO to the block of wood. So you come up here, turn the unit on, and you get a display, which uh, <laughs> is why you have the thing. You have this lovely digital display to work with. Now this planer, like just about all, cannot be turned down to zero. If it could, then the uh, blades could hit the bed, and that would be very bad, both for the bed and the blades. So I cannot set an absolute zero on here, which means I essentially have to use the preset to get where I want to be. Now to set the DRO, you need a scrap of wood the uh, size really is not the least bit important. A couple of things to consider. You uh, might be better off choosing a piece of fairly straight grained wood because if you get into an area where not is, the wood is denser and harder and you may get a slight variation in the thickness uh, if you plane through that. Now you could just not measure that area. What I'm gonna do is take this over to the chop saw and I'm gonna cut that end off of this scrap just so I don't have to deal with that knot. All right, that area has been removed. The next step is to make sure that you have a, a straight edge or two straight edges on it. Really, you only need one, but if you've got curvature to it if it's off like this one is um, you need to correct that because you can't get an accurate reading until the two sides of the board are parallel so I could do that with the thickness planer itself but I'm going to start out with the joiner here and joint to uh, the edge that's being shown right here so I know it's straight okay I have now jointed the uh, upper edge on this scrap of wood that's shown and I'm next going to run it through the thickness planer to uh, straighten the other edge make it parallel to that one I may uh, flip flop and run it through a couple times until I'm pretty certain that I've got nice straight parallel surfaces <laughs> I've run it through the planer once. I'm now uh, tightened down the back lock and the front lock to uh, get the current setting locked in place. And I'm going to run it through the uh, this side, the opposite one from what I just did with that locked in place to give me a, a nice parallel board, the full length, hopefully. <laughs> Right. with
with the uh, board now run through the planer, straightening and smoothing both uh, edges on it, it's time to take a measurement, to take a reading. First, I make sure that my digital caliper is zeroed, and then I take a reading. And the reading that I get is 1.9620. Try and get that in the light so it shows well on camera. I think that's got it. So we come up to the DRO, and we find that it's actually uh, pretty close to being right, because I was playing with it earlier. Actually, for most woodworking purposes, that's probably close enough. But I'm going to show you how to set this, uh, no matter what this reading is, we're going to reset it. And to do that, we need to use the preset button. So we push and hold preset until we get this display with the little P, which is right there, flashing. And I've discovered that with my setup, I need the minus sign, the negative, uh, for the direction to be correct when I make changes. So I'm going to press and hold a long press. That makes that blink, but doesn't make it go away. If you wanted to make it go away, a short press now would. Instead, I'm going to use another long press, three seconds. And that gets me to the first digit. Another long press gets me to the second. And that one we need to change to one with a short press. Now, long press. And that gets the next digit blinking. And we need... 1.9 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 long press 1 2 3 4 5 6 long press 1 2 now we've got the uh the setting that we need on it a long press to get back to a blinking P and there's the P blinking again and now a short press will take us out of this and you'll see it's reading minus 2602 which is not what we want so how do we get what we want well this is nowhere covered in the uh, instructions setting the preset like we just went through is but if I now hit the zero button and let go, look what we get, minus 1.962. So that has been now reset for this position, which is exactly what we want. So it's been corrected from 1.9675 to 1.962. So we're going to loosen the, the locks on the planer. And we're going to lower it a little bit. Doesn't really matter how much. I went with a half crank, which is kind of my standard amount of a cut for this particular machine when I'm using it. And we now have a readout of 1.8395. And I'm locking down the locks on it. Now I've learned Sometimes when the planer gets running and you pass the piece through, you can get a small change to that readout. There we lost the five ten thousands. No biggie. Uh, I don't really work to that degree of accuracy anyway. So now we take the same board we ran through before and we're gonna run it through. I think it's just the uh, the nature of planers and wood. Uh, the reading that I you get slightly different readings at different places on the board, but here's a typical 1.8415. 
so it's a little it's about two thousandths over which most of us could live with that but if you want to uh, refine it further we'll have a go at this and see if we can uh, get a little closer reading we're going to uh, reset the DRO to 1.8415 all right i've just gone through using the preset button again same way as before and i've reset the dro to 1.841 we'll run uh we'll make loosen the locks and we'll lower this just to a a random setting 1.780 and lock it down and we'll run aboard the and here we have the the reading on the digital caliper 1.7815 so we're within uh, one and a half thousandths of an inch which is close enough I'd rather have it slightly over that way I can uh, give it a lick with a scraper or sandpaper as need be and we're basically close enough now there is another button on here which is useful and that is the increment button and if we push increment we'll see the display goes to zero and that is just to use the current setting as a reference point and we're going to add or subtract an increment so I'm going to loosen the locks and I'm going to lower the cutting head by 0.125 and then I'm going to lock it in And what we're doing is we are taking off exactly an eighth of an inch from that board. If we push increment again, it goes back to the actual thickness that it's going to. Now, if we took our prior setting, subtracted 0.125, we would get 1.6555. And we could do that math separately. The uh, increment is just a handy way to do it. So now with everything locked down again we'll once again run the board through and now we'll measure it to see if we are at how close we are to 1.656 and here then is the reading at one point on the board as I said if you measure different places you get slight variances but here we have 1.655 or within a thousand thousandths and a half of the uh, readout shown on the DRL So to use this thing, you need to get it set up on your machine. You need to run a board through if you're using a thickness planer, making sure both sides are parallel, then measure it. Then use the preset to set to match whatever the setting is on the thickness of the board you just planed. And for my use on this machine, I found I have to have the uh, negative sign up. It uh, may be different depending on how you have the uh, this block oriented. If it was rotated 180 going the other way, then uh, positive might be the correct thing for my usage. It doesn't really matter. It's just a sign. But in order for me to have the uh, numbers going in the right direction when I lower it, I have to have the negative sign. Depending on you have how you have uh, your DRO mounted, you may not need the negative sign, you may need the positive. 
experiment with that and you'll figure out what the correct direction is. And uh, the big key to this all is that after you go through the preset routine, you have to push the zero button to truly input the preset setting that you just put in. The increment button, as shown, can be used to uh, change your cut by an exact amount from whatever it uh, the current thickness is. Uh, that's kind of useful for some things. A button that seems to have no function at all is the set button. I looked online at instructions and nowhere does is there even a mention of a set button and pushing that button in combination with others I haven't gotten it to do anything so I'm not sure why it's there. The important buttons here are the preset to get your machine set to the actual thickness of a test cut followed by pressing the zero to get it to register and then you can use the increment button to take a precise additional amount from a piece of wood that you're planing. Hopefully that will clear up confusion for some or all of you on how to set the buttons and the numbers on the eye gauging easy view DRO. Go make some wood chips.